Homemade jam is one of life's great pleasures, and so that's why today I'm going to show you how I made this lovely blueberry jam. So, you'll need blueberries, obviously. So we're gonna take them out of the box here. We're gonna wash them first, and then we're gonna measure them out. This recipe called for four cups of fresh blueberries, but I only had a cup and a half, so we're gonna make it work like that. All right, so just measure that out and put that in there into the saucepan. And then you'll want to add about a cup or maybe a little less of white sugar since we're dialing back the blueberries. I probably did it like a half cup. Probably should have shown you that. But anyway, we also got a cinnamon, ground cinnamon. Yeah, it says just a pinch of ground cinnamon. So that's what we're going with. Now we got that and then we're going to grate up one lemon because lemon zest is really good. And don't worry, I washed my hands when I did that. Anyway, you're going to turn your stove to about medium and get this cooking. You're gonna want to stir it because blueberries and sugar are going to burn fast if you don't stir. If you do stir, then it will get liquidy like this, and you'll start having this deep purple sauce. Now, don't be like me. I tried to push them down with this, uh, <laughs> the back of this wooden spoon. That did not work. And I almost dropped my phone into that blueberry syrup. That would have been a disaster, because I'm using that to light. But anyway, you want to mash the blueberries up as much as possible. You want that stuff to all cook and break down, especially if you didn't do anything to them. Then you're going to want to add a dash of salt. Oh, and I also should mention at this point, don't use a wooden spoon to stir. That was a bad idea. It stains it purple. And obviously take a taste, like I'm doing right here, just as necessary. And that's what it should look like in the end. I had this Townty jar that I used. If you don't have that, you could put it in basically anything, as long as it's sealed. Yeah, you'll want to put it in the fridge, hopefully overnight, so that it can set. So anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time on You Be Cooking. Hit the bell for Ugly Bastard, the hentai rap master, so you may continue to chase Lois on the back.